deep in the annals of time, where myth danced with the stars, and the lines between the known and the unknown was drawn by the gods themselves. There existed a profound enigma, a human mind, a labyrinth as complex as the tales of Minas. Welcome seekers of knowledge and guardians of human spirits. I'm Martin, your Danish male nurse, and today we delve into the depths of history to unearth the evolution of psychiatric treatment. From the rationale to the mythical, let's explore how our understanding of mental illness has been shaped by the wisdom and the fears of our ancestors. In the sun-kissed lands of ancient Greece, the mind was a canvas for the gods' touch. Illness of the psyche were seen through the lens of curiosity and introspection. The great physician of the age, like Hippocrates and later Galen, observed the human condition, suggesting that mental illness were not curses, but imbalances of the body, of diet, of environment. Hippocrates' theories set the stage for a medical approach emphasizing natural causes and treatments for mental illnesses. It was truly an era of enlightenment where bath, diets and exercises were prescribed to restore the delicate balance of the body's humorous. The pattern of wisdom was passed on to Rome, where the confluence of Greek knowledge and Roman pragmatism birthed an era of medical advancements. Aslepiades, a Greek physician in Rome, rejected the idea of Homerus and proposed treatments that were gentle and humane pioneering the concept of moral therapy. Therapeutic spas, tranquil environments, and the soothing sounds of running water in Roman villages served as sanctuaries for the troubled mind. However, as the empire declined, so too did the grasp on these enlightened views. With the fall of the Roman Empire, Europe plummeted into the Middle Ages, an era cloaked in superstition and fear. The advancements of the ancients receded into the shadows as mental illnesses once again became a mark of the devil, a sign of witchcraft, an ill omen to be feared and shunned. The Middle Ages saw a stark departure from the quest for understanding, reverting to exorcism and the harsh conditions of dungeons for those deemed mad. These ages of darkness was punctuated by moments of light, where the monasteries and some Islamic scholars preserved the knowledge of the Greeks and Romans, promising a future resurgence of medical understanding. As we stand today on the shoulders of these giants, we must reflect on this journey, from recognition to superstition, from healing to condemnation. In our next episode, we will step into the era of asylums, and you will find it right. Here, it is where darkness and light waged war for the soul of psychiatric care.